hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of c plus square root of c divided by c is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, you see that the c is divided by here uh, so we move it this c to the right hand side uh, further uh, if you focus into the numerator terms you see that these are the two same variable terms are added by each other so we need to add the coefficients of these equations these terms so the coefficient of this term is one and the coefficient of this term is also one so here we add the coefficients of these two terms and after adding the coefficients it will be written as as uh, two times of square root of c and here we move the c to the right hand side so it is multiplied by this two and it will becomes here two times of c and now you see here uh, both of these terms involve two so that we divide both of the sides by two so when we divide each of these terms on both the sides by two it will be written as two times square root of c divided by two equals two c is divided by two so this two is cancelled out by this two and this two is cancelled out by this two and we obtain here square root of c is equals to c so here our target is to find the values of c so uh, that's why we need to take the squaring on both of the sides in order to uh, remove this square root sign from left hand side so here we take a squaring on both of the sides uh, it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here c is equals to this is c square uh, so here further uh, in the next step we need to move this c to the right hand side and it will be written as c square minus c is equals to zero and now you see here both of these terms involve c so that we take common c from here and when we take common c from here we get the remaining values are c minus one is equals to zero and further in the next step uh, we need uh, to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to zero and the second case is we write c minus one is equals to zero so this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of c is equals to minus one so we move this minus one to the right hand side and it will becomes plus one okay so this is the second value of c so uh, here in the first method we will get here uh, there are two roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that uh, is both of these two roots are solution or both of these two roots are extraneous root so for verifications of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and it is square root of c plus square root of c divided by c is equals to 2 this is the our given question statement and here in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 1. So here first we substitute the value of c is equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior. When you put it here it will become square root of 0 plus square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 2 and now 0 square root becomes 0 and it will become 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 2 and 0 plus 0 becomes 0 over 0 is equals to 2 so this means that <clears throat> 0 over 0 is usually called the indeterm indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is uh, undefined so if our left hand side is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of c is equals to zero uh, is not satisfied our given question statement so we call this is 
the extraneous root of the given equation okay uh, because the extraneous roots are those roots which does not satisfy our given question statement likewise you see here c is equal to zero is not satisfied our given question statement and now we verify the second value of c and in the second value of c we substitute one on both to the left hand side and it will become the square root of one plus square root of one divided by one is equals to two and square root of one becomes here one plus one divided by one is equals to two and one plus one becomes two is equals to two so this shows that uh, the value of c is equals to one is satisfied our given question statement uh, so this means that c is equals to one be the solution of the given equation so that we have the solution set of the given question is one only and c is equal to zero be the extraneous root and now here in the next steps we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we uh, need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of c plus square root of c divided by c is equals to 2 so in the second method we will give you uh, another smartest way to uh, get the values of c from here okay so uh, here we uh, solve this problem with different approach and now here you uh, you focus into the numerator terms and you see here square root of c plus square root of c becomes two times square root of c and here we write this c as square root of c multiplied by square root of c is equals to two because we know that we write any number into the form of product of square roots okay so uh, this um, these two values when we multiply these two values it will uh, becomes here c so now you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and we will get here 2 divided by square root of c is equals to 2 and here because we find uh, or we solve this problem for the values of c so that we move the square root of c to the right hand side and we move this 2 to the left hand side so when we interchange these two terms it will become 2 divided by 2 is equals to square root of c so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here 1 is equals to square root of c so in order to find the values of c we need to remove this square root sign so for this we will apply scaling on both of the sides so this 2 and this square root are gone and we know that as a square of 1 is equals to 1. So this means that uh, in the second method we will get here only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 1. So in the first method we already verified that the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement. So the final conclusion about the solution set in of the second method is that uh, c is equals to 1 be the solution set of the given question. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.